Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. Ever since ChatGPT was released back in November of 2022, it has absolutely taken over the internet and there have been so many people who have been trying it out in such creative and unique ways. If you guys don't know what ChatGPT is, it is a chatbot released by OpenAI back in November of 2022, and it is based on the GPT-3 architecture, which is also created by OpenAI. I've been reading up on all of the cool, amazing ways in which people have been using ChatGPT, and one of the most interesting way which I've seen recently was actually talked about in this insider article where someone actually created a job application and wrote it with ChatGPT and that job application actually managed to fool the recruiters and it even went on to beat more than 80% of the human candidates who actually interviewed and applied for the job. When I was reading that article, I began to think just how far we could take this. So in this video, I'm going to be giving ChatGPT the task of actually applying for a machine learning engineering role at Zoom. And we're gonna see how it actually manages to perform. So let's get started. So this is the machine learning engineering role at Zoom that I was looking at, and we're gonna be making use of this as a sample to pass into ChatGPT and look at the type of response that we're going to be getting. You guys can also try this out with any other role that you are interested in. When applying for tech roles within machine learning and data science, there's often a lot of anxiety involved, especially for people who are applying and they're not exactly sure of what people are looking for or what the hiring manager or tech manager is looking for. So what I really believe that ChatGPT is going to help you guys with is actually create a framework which helps you get started much, much easily. And this is a huge thing which ChatGPT is able to do. It essentially takes off a lot of burden from people who are applying for jobs and it gives you something to start off with. And that's something which is truly amazing. So the first thing that I've actually went ahead and done is create a prompt with ChatGPT, which includes the entire description of the job. So what I start off by saying is I'm a machine learning engineer and I want to apply for the following role at Zoom. Here is a description of the role and then I give it the entire input of the description of the role. Once I've done that, I get a response from ChatGPT, which highlights exactly what I should be focusing on when applying for this role. So it says, to ensure that you successfully land the role of machine learning engineer at Zoom, you should focus on highlighting the following in your application and interview. So it lists out these seven points, which basically it summarizes the entire gist of the job description that we have just sent it. But this is actually really useful and it gives you something to work off of and you know exactly what you should be focusing on. So relevant experience, make sure to highlight any experience you have with natural language processing and machine learning, and as well as TensorFlow, PyTorch, uh, Spacey, and then strong coding skills as well. Uh, communication skills, qualifications, as well as some other technologies, for example, dealing with microservices, Docker, Kubernetes, and REST API. So these are all amazing highlights that exactly, you know, ChatGPT is exactly listing out so that you guys know exactly what to focus on. So the next question is, can you describe two specific machine learning projects that will help land this role. And this is when it gets really interesting and it's much more specific. So the response from ChatGPT is, sure, here are two examples of specific machine learning projects that may help you land the role of ML engineer at Zoom. The first thing is a natural language processing project, which includes developing a summarization model for long form text, such as news articles, blog posts, or research papers. The model should be able to extract the most important information from the text and generate a concise summary. The project could involve the use of techniques such as extractive summarization, abstractive summarization, and transformer-based models. So interesting, you have something very specific already. You have exactly what type of data you should be using, right? So you know that the type of data is either news articles, blog posts, research papers. You know that this project should have something to do with summarization 
and also exactly what type of models you should be using. Now, let's take a look at the second project it describes. So the second project it suggests is actually a multimodal machine learning project, which involves building a conversational AI system that can process and respond to both text and speech inputs. The project could involve developing models for natural language understanding, automate, automatic speech recognition, and natural language generation. It could also involve integrating these models with other technologies such as voice biometrics, speaker, uh, speaker recognition, and sentiment analysis. Now, right off the bat, these seem, the second project especially seems like a much more advanced project. So depending on what your knowledge level of ML is, you could either decide to do one of these or even both of these as well. It also goes on to add that both of these projects help to demonstrate that you have a really strong understanding of NLP techniques, which is exactly what they were asking for when you applying for this role. And also they help to showcase that you know how to deal with large scale data and distributed systems. Also, both uh, projects require a good understanding of optimization of GPUs and also strong experience in, in Python. So it's good that it's able to actually showcase these things as well. Now that ChatGPT has described two different projects that we should include in our resume, let's actually ask it to elaborate about one of them. So for the natural language processing project you mentioned, what kind of data set should I use? And it responds with when developing a summarization model for natural language, uh, language processing project, you can use a variety of data sets depending on the specific task and domain you're interested in. Some popular data sets for text summarization include number one, the CNN Daily Mail data set. And this data set consists of news articles from the CNN and Daily Mail website. So the second one is the DUC 2003 and DUC 2004 data set. And this includes uh, data sets, which includes news articles as well as human written summaries. So this is a really good data set as well. And the third one is GigaWorld, a GigaWorld. And fourth is PubMed abstracts. And fifth is the Wikipedia data set. This is honestly an amazing response because you know it has actually broken down what type of data sets you should focus on and it essentially removes the task of looking for data sets and trying to find the best one so you already have something to focus on. And the next question, which is a good prompt, is what kind of model should I use for this project? And it replies with, there are several types of models you can use for this project. Some popular choices include extractive summarization. And these models identify the most important sentences and phrases in the text and extract them to form a summary. The second is abstractive summarization. And the third is a hybrid model, which includes both extractive and abstractive. So let's actually go ahead and pick extractive summarization and try to focus in on that. So one of the most popular type of extractive models is the text rank algorithm, which is actually based on the page rank algorithm used by Google. So we can ask a follow-up question to ChatGPT, which is how do I code the text rank algorithm? And it gives you an excellent reply, which is the text rank algorithm and what exactly is it and how do you do pre-processing? So such as tokenizing and stemming and removing stop words creating a graph, scoring sentences, uh, selecting the top scoring sentences, and then generating the summary. So it goes into exactly the steps you need to take. And then you also get a code, an example Python code, which implements the entire text rank algorithm. And this is something that you can make use of. This is something that could be a base for you to work off of. So at this point, we know a lot more about the role and exactly how we should be applying, right? So we know what, what kind of things to focus on in our resume. We know what type of projects to include. We also have a starting code snippet for one of the projects, as well as the exact algorithm and data set that we should focus on. And the next question right now that we should also ask ChatGPT is, what kind of interview questions can I expect for this role? 
and to which ChatGPT responds, the interviewer may ask you to explain a specific NLP project that you've worked on and the process you used to complete it. So very specific and very targeted towards the NLP project that you just work on and you're able to explain it really well. So that is what matters. And they also may ask you to walk through your code and explain how certain algorithm works. This might or might not happen. Oftentimes interviewers don't really ask you to walk you through your project code, but they will definitely ask you to explain why you, why you took certain steps or exactly how certain algorithms work. And then additionally, you may be asked about your experience with ML libraries and frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Spacey. So very similar to its initial response as well. But this is an excellent, excellent way to start off with, especially when you are applying for these type of roles. The things that we're able to achieve with ChatGPT is truly amazing. And I honestly believe that it is one of the biggest things that has ever happened to human productivity. And we can definitely expect to see more and more amazing things, especially when we also apply to the field of AI and tech as well. I hope this video was helpful for a lot of you guys who are applying for machine learning roles or even just interested in how ChatGPT works. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.